Hey everybody, Todd McFarland here. The black Todd McFarland. Well, I just finished something that I was trying to get together and work on for quite a minute now, and it's finally here, it's finally done. I, uh, very briefly I'll explain what I did. Um, I've been looking for a small DeLorean that I could mount on top of this little uh, floating magnetic device that I bought, and they don't make them. There's no such thing. Not at least at the scale I was hoping. So, I had to buy a DeLorean that was similar to the one I was looking for. And I took the wheels off and I, you know, re re rearranged them to be in a horizontal position. And I put it back on to the car and glued it all down in the position that I needed it to be in. And now it's, 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 it looks aesthetically similar to the floating DeLorean. And now I have it mounted on top of the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the magnetic thingy ball, what do you want to call it, and here it blows. It can't get, can't get cooler than this. It now, it appears to be a floating DeLorean inside of your, your office or your home. And it, it just is so cool. If I have some sort of method of turning this into a clock, so it's not just useless floating DeLorean, that'd be even better. I might be able to put a miniature tiny clock on top of it. Uh, it works off a of solar or something, and uh, somehow, some way, that'd be even better than this. You know, to have a clock on it. But this is just the beginning, a prototype, I guess, of what I'm comp trying to accomplish. The wheels did not look like this initially. I had to actually re-engineer the wheels to look like this, flat down, and, and you know, it's pretty crudely done. It's not the most refined thing, but now it has a hovering sensibility to it, and this is what makes it so much fun. It's just a, an actual live uh, uh, hovering DeLorean in your room, you know, versus watching the movie and you see the hovering DeLorean you can actually see the hovering DeLorean for real and that's the true joy of this thing you have a hovering DeLorean display in your in your room in your house and so on and so forth it's not that complicated to do it all you gotta do is get this Levitron Revolution thing off of eBay if you can find it cheap uh, this is the Welly 1x24 scale uh, DeLorean from Back to the Future 2 replica Sadly, they did not make these with the wheels down. You have to buy it with the wheels up. Then you screw off the bottom, you take the wheels out. If you do it my method, which was to cut the axle in half, bend the wheels at the side and put the axle back on by connecting it with some sort of pen hose and then gluing everything together, that works fine. If you have other options so to you based, you know you know how to do that's even better because basically now it looks as though the wheel axle is bent and the wheels are hanging off of it but the appearance is still the same as if it was the hovering alarm from the movie that's all that matters alright uh... thanks for watching this video is about to come to its close and uh, i'm going to put it on youtube and uh... i'm very happy with this project that i've been working on for a while now and i just wanted to show it off because it took me forever to do it that's a bitch and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you can you can touch it and bobble it, and it's cool. It's just cool.